Hey folks, it's Masterpiece. And today, I have another vintage collection review. It's going to be Darth Vader from the Death Star 2 scene. This is from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And I finally was able to get my Darth Vader. And basically this whole wave was kind of pushed back because they have been having some complications with shipping. And uh, so I was able to get mine finally. It took a while. I got Weequay very early, but we're here for Darth Vader. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader from the second Death Star comes with all his awesome accessories. This is on the Dark Times body mold. Right up here is the 40th anniversary logo. The card back image looks nice. Turning it around, we have uh, the VC number, it's VC280. And then you see the rest of the case there. Great card back that they got on this one. I also have my Dark Times Vader right here so we could compare them. So I'm going to put this guy in the background right here. Alright, so here he is out of the packaging. Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader. It's basically the same mold, nothing new. Same mold as the Dark Times one. Uh, we will compare it. So we'll check out his utility belt there, the front panel that he has here. There are some differences, the, some colors on the buttons are different colored, some minor details there, as you can see. This body is basically based on the New Hope Vader. Whereas this one is a little bit different, a little bit more unique. But same articulation. Rocker ankles. The best kind of ankles, honestly. Knee articulation. With the swivel. Swivel at the thigh and it is on the barbell hips then there's the core articulation arms this doesn't really get in the way which is good elbows wrists and head You can, if you take off the head, the bottom neck piece is separate. So here's the head sculpt. Really good detail on them. That looks really good. And then this piece is just like a rubbery neck piece. So we'll put this right here. Put the head back on. There we go. The cape is some nice material. Soft goods are really nice along with uh, the skirt, comma skirt. Here is his arm that's cut off that's uh, the arm that was cut off when he was up against Luke we've seen these before it's the hilt and the ignited lightsaber nothing special there the peg to hold the hilt is still in the same place as the Dark Times one. 
see I have it on the Dark Times one as well. There we go. If you wanted to display Vader with uh, the arm before it gets cut off, it does come with the gloved arm right here so that's pretty simple to switch out just like that and you slot it in right like that there you go so that's pretty cool Next, we're gonna check out the first part of the helmet, which is the middle part. This is where uh, the eyes are located, and then you get to see some detail on the top. It's also made out of a soft, rubbery material. And then we have the top. also made out of a soft rubbery material. Uh, one thing that I hope isn't an issue is that these pieces won't be flying off very easily. Um, but that's why we're here to check it out. That's why I'm doing this review. So that's the middle piece. There doesn't seem to be that much of a uh, seam line there. So that's good. And then here's the top piece. Goes in just like that. And snaps on. Looks, looks pretty good. It uh, looks a little big. A little bit bigger than this one, but not by much. I'd say it's just like a little bit more How should I put it? Like wider? But not too much of a difference. So it still looks really nice. Pretty much identical figures if you guys ask me other than some small details. Let's pose them up. So on the left we have the new Return of the Jedi Vader and on the right we have the previous release of Vader that's from the Dark Times. Same mold, a couple uh, subtle little differences with uh, the paint apps and all that kind of stuff. The, uh, that control panel that he has in, in his front, in the front of his chest there has different colors. Obviously, you get the uh, different mold of the hand that's cut. And then you have the removable helmet. Which uh, is pretty much in three pieces. Which is very nice. I love that Hasbro made that. What do you guys think? I know a lot of vintage collection collectors, TVC collectors, already got their hands on the return of the Jedi Vader they couldn't wait 
and I couldn't wait to get mine either, but I had to wait way too long to get mine. Anyways, that's it for this video, so I'll see you guys next time.